Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we are playing Kiro. This is like PlayStation 1 type of graphics, but this is like, I'm assuming like in third person or first person. So we're going to jump right into it. No questions asked as per usual. Many moons ago, my memories were murdered. Okay. Is that me? Awakened in a hospital with a new life to start. Wonder if that's me or that's just the person I have to go after. In my restless dreams, I keep coming back to this place. Okay, so this has to be me. Tomorrow won't be the same. Amazing. Wow, this is actually, this really gives me like PlayStation 1 type like feels. Holy shit. By the way, this is very loud for me. It's a wooden pedestal. Something seems to be missing. Alrighty, what do I have to get to get over there? Do I have to go this way? This gives me like a lot of like Resident Evil vibes in a way. Like the Resident Evil like vibes, like when like you're in one side of the screen, you have to make it all the way over to the other side. What is that? I can't tell if that's, is that blacked out? I think it's just a curtain. <laughs> Fucking Christ, that was so loud. Basement door. Yeah, because I want to go down to the fucking basement in the first 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm just gonna... A sealed door. The door has been firmly shut. Numerous seals are placed upon it. Write something? Uh, I guess I'll write my name. Nothing happened. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I can't write my name. So it seems that there has to be something I have to write. An impressive collection of dusty books. Most of them are in terrible condition. They are mostly about spiritual topics. They all belong to Father Segeto. A single one of them is about gardening and burying. Alrighty. Are you able to go out in the basement? A one door leading to the basement. It is locked. Okay. Looks like I don't just go this way. Hello, guys. I'm assuming we have to go somewhere else for the time being. Let's see what's around this corner, if anything. There's something glowing over there, so I'm gonna go see if there's something attached to it. The tombstone. An old tombstone. The name Miyu has been carved in it. So maybe that we could put that on the sealed door, maybe? Maybe that will give us the clue to, uh... Oh. I don't know what that was, and I did not like that. Okay, so I'm stuck. So let's go back. Let's see if that's what I have to do with that sealed door is write down that name that was carved on the tombstone. If I had to take a guess, I don't know what else to do in that regards to write a name down. That's so fucking wild, by the way. Something happened. Wow, I was correct. All right. All right, so that door has been opened. Amazing. Okay, there's just a flame spirit. Did I scare you? It wasn't my intention. My name is Miu. So what's your business here? Pillage this shrine's treasure, uncover its secrets? Just kidding. I know what you came in for. I know who you are. As you could probably tell, I, I am no longer a part of this world. I I'd like to help you to find my body so I can move on. I do not remember much, so I don't have a lot of clues for you. I'll tell you everything about who you are if you help me. It must remain somewhere within the walls of this shrine. Please be careful. However, we are not alone in here. I need a rest for now. I'll let you transport me. Alrighty. It, there's blood here. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, it's just me, you. Um. Don't know what that is. Did not like that. Let's just keep going. Oh, I can't go that way. All right, let's go through this way. Hello. Yeah, this gives me such Resident Evil like vibes. So like, I love it so much so far. And I love the graphics and everything for it because it gives me such a nostalgia factor. It's crazy. The dislocation ritual. On the 13th day of the 12th month, a maid cut off from the outside world for 10 years shall be torn apart. Her head and body shall be separated by a ceremonial knife. Then a circle shall be drawn using the maid's blood. Her body parts are to be disposed in a circle. Doing so will trade the maid's soul for peace with demons. The rest of the text is undecipherable. Something slips off the pages. You receive a basement key. Woo. <gasps> oh, fuck. Jesus Christ, man. God, why was that so loud for? Wait, what did I say? Two empty circles are drawn on the ground. I should probably put something in them. Okay, so maybe that's something that we have to... <gasps> Fuck! <coughs> I don't know what that was that fucking blew up over there, but let's go to the basement. All right, we made it to the ever-loving... Yo, no, not this time. This TV's not gonna jump scare me this time. You're not gonna turn on and be so dramatic. No. Nope. 
Never. A low hum is coming from the TV. Da, 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 da. Um, what are we? Are we fucking part of the ring or whatever the fuck? Are we just walking through TVs like it's nothing? I don't know if I like how it's first person. I don't know if I like that. I kind of like the third person aspect. At the least you can get jump scared. Who are you? Everyone heads over heel for her. Through her mere presence, she drives people into jealousy rage. They often led to brutal acts of violence among the priests of the shrine. Her skin was just like silk. Alive, young, pure. If only she would have seen me as more than a guard. Everything was fine until that man came and took her heart. When I found her corpse, her head was missing. I finally had an opportunity to have a piece of her. I had to take her heart. Just like that, man, did she... Did when she was alive? This alone didn't quench my hunger. I had to taste her flesh. Bro, what the fuck? I know you're. I know some people are freaky, but not that freaky. Jesus, man. To get closer to her than any man could ever have. When I was, when I think about it, you look a lot like her. Oh, okay. So we're brought into this dream. A sharp knife. Receive knife. He dropped something. I should probably use it. I used the knife and opened his belly. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? Receive her body. Oh. So do I put her body back down here? Okay. Did I put the lantern back down? I gotta put something else there? Like what? I don't know what else that I need. I don't know what else I have to get. I get another part of her body. Let me go down here. Maybe there's something down here. There's, there's nothing down here. Two hours later. Oh, there's a fucking wooden door right here that I missed. You used the knife. All right, B side, be fine. Okay, there's a diary. A diary lays on the table. Diary of Father Shigato. I know I made something terrible, but it was stronger than me. When I found her, I decided to cut her head and take it. I can hear her speak to me at night, telling me how much she loves me. You refused me, but you smiled. She looks like her mother. Her twin sister, Kuro, is nothing like her. Oh, that's me, huh? I'm her twin sister. Interesting. She's like her decapitated father. How could such a man get a woman like her mother? I will do anything to make Kira regret her existence. I keep her locked behind a bookshelf since the incident. I will keep her alive, but she will wish that she died. A wooden bookshelf. Something scratch marks are on the ground. You decide to push it. Body bag. Blood is leaking through a bag. You receive Mira's head. Woo, nice. Uh, diary lays on the bed. Kuro's property, don't touch. You decide to trespass, the warning. All this happened because of Miu. I hate her so much, I wish she died sooner. Um, okay, so the person that we're helping wants us dead? Are we Kiro? Like, I don't know who, I think we have to be Kiro, right? Like, in like a dream sequence somewhat. Always in her shadow. Nobody discovered it, but I'm the one who killed her. Ooh, we get some... Some plot twists here. So we're bringing back somebody that's going to be killing us, right? So that's what I'm ga gathering. I stabbed her to death and leave her to rot. Father Sagetto got me locked up here since the incident. Nobody suspects that her other twin murdered her. Her own twin murderer. her. Nobody will know how right it felt. Alrighty. Well, we are getting some, uh, some freaky lore here. All right. Well, that only have our head. I guess it's time we just do the ritual, right? We just give her the, the good old head. You place Mio's head in the place. Um, two empty circles. Something happens. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's the ghost entity. My sister who killed me. This is how I ended up, right? What a pitiful fate. No wonder my soul was kept here because kept here all this time. And about your past, you're the one who killed me. Wait, so am I me? I don't know who I am. I'm Kiro. Wasn't I just killed? Wasn't she the one that killed me? I don't know what's happening. It's okay to remember now. I do not hate you anymore. I know how everyone treated you bef because of me. I knew how you felt about my future husband. If I could, I would have given it all to you, but I don't have control over how people were around me. Father was always forcing me to do all these things. I only remember to see my sister one last time. I'm glad you came back here after all this time. Now, let's go home together. All right. Oh. That was kind of anticlimactic, huh? <laughs>
But that is it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for the constant love and support. The game is actually pretty good. I really enjoyed it. It gave me a lot of, like, Resident Evil, like, nostalgia, like, in third person. Like, walking around and backing up. Just, like, walking in one direction and everything like that. It was actually pretty nice. I really did like it. But this is it for the video, guys. Again, thank you guys so much for the constant love and support from you guys that have re been recently subscribing. Thank you guys so much. Stay safe. Be responsible. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.